Hey, I'm Brandon, and today we are checking out the Nolan N100-5 helmet. This is going to be a top-tier touring modular helmet within Nolan's line, and all of Nolan's helmets are made in Italy. And when I say modular, that means you can open up that chin bar. And as you can see on the inside, we do have an internal sun visor. A lot of touring riders out there like that versatility and that functionality, being able to retract that when the sun comes out and then throw it back in there when you don't need it. So a lot of riders like that versatility. We're looking at a polycarb shell main construction. We've got two shell sizes and two EPS with this particular helmet. Now the shell breakdown, you're looking at an extra small to a size medium, and then we've got a large all the way up to a 3XL. So looking at about 400 bucks, a little over $400, about 410 to 420, depending on the color and the size that you are going with. So keep that in mind. At this particular price point, I was looking for a little bit more refinement, and I'll get into more of that in just a moment. But DOT only, three pounds, 12 ounces in a size medium. And then the internal fit is about an intermediate to round oval internal shape there, a bit more elongated front to back than it is side to side. But again, intermediate to round oval. So uh, keep that in mind. If you don't know your head shape, we have plenty of information about getting your head shape. Uh, it's very important to make sure that the helmet is fitting you appropriately for the best seal and stability at speed and just overall comfort as well as protection. Now let's start here at the front with this front vent. Right, you can see that not too uh, tough to get open with a gloved hand, pretty straightforward with that. As we work our way up to the top vent, I will say this unfortunately is kind of a pain to open. With a glove on, I don't even have gloves on right now, but as you can see, it's it's not the easiest thing to lift and close. So I think with a gloved hand, it's just gonna be that much worse. Don't really like that design. I wish that was a, a little bit better personally. And then as we swing around to the back, you do have some exhaust vents at the back, which of course are gonna help pull that airflow through the helmet. But overall, pretty basic shell design overall. Now I will note over here on the side, it is designed to accommodate the Incom system. System, which is the Nolan's proprietary uh, communication system. So you can incorporate that. And then there's like a little battery pack that you unscrew that. And then the battery is going to go right there in the back as well. So if you're looking for an integrated system, they certainly have it. And this is set up to accommodate that. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now to open it, you're going to see right here, we've got a red tab right at the chin. You're going to pull that forward. And then there's another tab right there on the top. You're actually going to pinch that and then that's gonna allow you to open up the uh, the chin bar there. Now, at first I was like, ooh, an another step, like why do I need that? But once you do it a handful of times, it's muscle memory, it's really not that big a deal at all. So I certainly don't wanna knock them for that. That's pretty straightforward. Now you can actually lock the chin bar up in this position. You can see right here on the left, if you pu pull that tab right up, that's gonna prevent this from coming down. Now I would still not recommend riding around, you know, at, at high speeds uh, with the chin bar open because that's going to pull some wind. It's going to be very uncomfortable. It's not really designed for that. Low speeds around town, you know, stoplight to stoplight. Sure. If you want to maybe eat your quarter pounder on the go, um, you can certainly do that, but I wouldn't do it at highway speeds. Uh, that is for sure because it's not going to be very comfortable. Internal sun visor. Now, one thing I do like about the internal sun visor, it's kind of spring loaded. So you can see you actually can't move this until it's all the way back there and it's spring loaded and it's got four different positions or quite a few different positions, but I do wish it was lower. You can see a little bit of spacing there. It definitely needs to be lower. When I throw this uh, through this on and uh, put that sun visor all the way down, I definitely wanted it lower. Even when you're in that more aggressive kind of tucked over riding position, even with it, you know, kind of position in this way, I still wanted that internal sun visor a lot lower. So that would certainly be something I would update on the next iteration of this position particular helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. There we go. And the shield itself, not bad at all. Pretty good optics there. It does have a pinlock ready uh, insert included in the box. Of course, the, the shield itself is pinlock ready, uh, but you've got the insert included. A few detents there. You can certainly hear them when you open and close it. And I like the little lock there at the center. Just keeps everything nice and in place. But pinlock insert again is included in the box. Now let's work our way to the interior. Take a quick look here on the inside. 
Now the first thing you'll probably notice are these little cinch cords here. You can actually pull in some of the material here on the inside of the liner and that helps create a little bit of a seal. It sounds a little gimmicky, but you can actually physically feel it, you know, as you pull it in. So if it's cold or, you know, maybe you just want it to be a little bit quieter, you can actually pull on that. That will cinch it down and make it a little bit more snug around the neck. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things that I think will help a little bit. I don't think it's going to dramatically help, uh, to be perfectly honest. So I don't know if I really love having all this extra material and, uh, on the inside of the liner, but I won't knock it too hard because I did feel it. I did feel the seal a little bit better. So to each their own there. Some people will probably like that. Some people will probably pull on these, get them nice and snug and never touch them again to each their own. So working our way to the interior, as you can see, we've got a ratchet strap go ahead and pull out this wrestle this. It does take a little bit of wrestling to get this stuff out of here. Got the ratchet strap, very straightforward with the liner there, slight contour. So that's going to, you know, obviously break in well with regular use and time and just be more form fitting to your facial features. There's the other pad. Pretty easy to get out of there. Now I'm going to just remove this headliner real quick. Take a quick look here. And as I mentioned before, you know, it is designed to accommodate their in-com system, but you can go with your own proprietary system if you wish to do so, like a Sina or a Cardo. I personally like doing that because uh, there's the headliner. I personally like doing that because it allows me to transfer a Bluetooth communication system, you know, to my next helmet, right? So unless you want a fully integrated system, I personally like just transferring from one uh, helmet to the other with my own proprietary system, but to each their own there. If you want the fully integrated system, you can do it. If you don't want that, it does accommodate, you know, some alternative communication systems. Here on the inside, you can see a little bit of this padding that just pops right off. And underneath that, you're going to find the speaker pocket. And actually that's a little bit of uh, plastic right there that can be removed. It's very easy to pop out of place. Um, and then you can throw in the speakers and they will fit in that recessed area. And then you can see on the inside, pretty straightforward, not very deep channels when it comes to the airflow. I think that's one thing that can be improved on this particular helmet. And as you can hear, it's a little bit squeaky. I think, you know, <laughs> for this price range, around that $400 price range, considering that it's made in Italy, I was expecting a little bit more refinement out of it. There's some features that I like, like, you know, a little bit of that neck roll, being able to cinch that down, I think is, is a nice little feature, nice little touch. I think the internal sun visor could be lower. And I think for this particular helmet at this particular price point, I'm not really too mad about three pounds, 12 ounces in a size medium, but I would like more shells to, you know, kind of make this a little bit more low profile as well. And again, that top vent, not, not a fan. That's not going to be easy to manipulate as you're driving down the road on your motorcycle. So overall, I think at this price point uh, from Nolan, this is going to be something that, you know, a lot of touring uh, riders out there can utilize with the internal sun visor, having that modular aspect. But I think there's certainly some room for improvement on this particular model moving forward. But if you're looking for more details, feel free to click that info button. That will take you over to the product page where you can take a look at some alternative color options. And of course, if you have any additional questions about this helmet or any other gear, you might be looking at, please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, more than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit, taking a closer look at the Nolan N100-5 helmet. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.